In this tutorial, I'm going to go over the workflow process for generating your intersection pipes that will be used to generate your half lap intersections for your waffle structure. Now, as we look at this object, we have three elements in it. We have our vertical contours, which are color coded blue. We have our radial contours, which are color coded maroon, as you can see. And we have our intersection lines that we generated during the last tutorial that are color coded pink. I also have my object here just as a reference with the bounding box, but we're not going to be using it during this tutorial, so I can keep that turned off. Okay, let me create two additional layers. Okay, and let's move these down. You can use your down button to move those down to the bottom. Okay, I'm going to move this one down also. One of the layers. I'm going to call my V under pipes, and those are going to be color coded blue to match the contours that it's going to be cutting. And this one, I'm going to call this my radial underscore pipes, and that's going to be color coded maroon. To match the radial pipes that it's going to be cutting and I do that so that I know and I put those on separate layers so that I can access them really easy and you'll see later on how that becomes uh, very useful okay now I'm ready to generate my pipes okay and let's go down I'm going to go down to this layer that layer I'm going to make that active and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to come to the bottom row like so and I'm going to click on my intersection line and I'm going to type in on the command line, I'm going to type in pipe and hit enter. The starting radius represents the radius, starting radius, which you see here, represents the radius of your pipes. And that's going to be the thickness of your material. I color, color coded 0.19. That's the value that I'm going to pass it. Uh, it goes to the end of the pipe, and that's going to be 0.19. And then I'm going to hit return, and that generates my pipe. Okay, and that pipe is going to be used to cut this, uh, my vertical pipes, well, my vertical surfaces, uh, and I want to cut those on the inside because those are going to slot into my vertical elements. Let me cut those in the opposite direction. So now I want to move this to the center. Okay, and this is where our snaps become very important. Okay, I'm going to type in the move command, and I'm going to click. I'm going to hover right over here until it says center, okay? And then I'm going to move along this line until it says mid. And you notice that that snaps that to the midpoint of this line, okay? And let me copy and paste this. And I'm going to type in move again. And I'm going to hover around here until it brings up the center. And I'm going to go over there to where it says mid. And that's my other pipe, and I'm going to change the object layer for that one. So that becomes my that becomes my pipe that I'll use to cut my uh, radial ribs. Now, what I want to do at this point, I want to zoom out here. And what I want to do, as I look here in this window, I see my pipe here. I need to scale this so that it goes completely through my object. And the way that you do this is that you select both, like so, and you're going to come in here, and you're going to uh, use your scale one dimension. Okay, you just want to scale in one dimension. Let's tear off this window, because we're going to be using a lot during this tutorial. I'm going to scale one dimension, and I want to click on my midpoint here. And I want to click on my center there. And now I can scale it one dimension. And now both my pipes move from the center, scaled from the center, move completely through my object. And what that means is that this pipe will go through every section. It's wide enough to go through every section of my object. And that becomes very important to what it is that we're going to do. Now let me zoom out here, maximize this window. So now what I want to do
I'm going to use my copy command and it's very important that I start from the mid right here and then I'm going to move it up here to mid 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 and those are my snaps working for me mid mid you want to make sure that you're doing it that you're snapping to the midpoint on the section that's closest to you because if you're not careful it'll snap it to the midpoint of uh, one of your other like if I see it'll go over to there but so you want to watch it and make sure that it's snapping to the midpoint and those are all of those ribs uh, they're set up and ready to go okay and if I look in my window here that's moving in that direction I'm gonna do one more just so that you understand the workflow again okay I'm gonna rotate this and I'm gonna work on this one Okay, I select my first intersection curve on the bottom, type in my pipe command, and by now it's already storing my value of 0.19, so I don't have to repeat that. And it generates my pipe. Okay, now I know that this one is going to be, I select my pipe, and I type in my move command. And that intersection line is a good, that's the midpoint there. And that goes to the midpoint there. I copy, paste that one. Type in my move command. I want to go from the center there to my midpoint there. And this one, I want to come up here and change the object layer so that it lays on my blue layer. Okay. And once I have those selected, select both of them at this point. Let's minimize this window so I can work in both windows. And now what I want to do, I want to use my one-dimensional scale. Start at the midpoint there. And it's very important that you get the center there. And I can come here and scale that so it goes completely through my object at that point. Now I zoom out, and now I'm ready to do maximize this window once again. And I'm ready to do my copy work. And I want to make sure that I grab the midpoint. click snap those to the midpoint you want to make sure that you're hitting that midpoint so that those will be aligned perfectly Okay, and that's the workflow. Okay, that's that's the workflow. I'm going to stop this tutorial at this point, and I'm going to so you don't have to sit here and watch me make pipes. Um, and I'm going to move to a completed model at this point, and then we'll go in and I'll show you how to create your notches.